Howdy folks, Jamboreeki here. Do you remember that Father Christmas had a cameo in Raymond Briggs the Snowman? Well, what if I told you that this character actually had its own animated short? Yes, and I'm going to talk about it today. In Father Christmas, Santa Claus may look like your typical Saint Nick, but there's a bit of a twist. This short's take on Father Christmas is a grumpy old man living in the English countryside. One day, Santa decides to take a break from his job by going on vacation to different places. The idea of Father Christmas being a regular everyman living in a British cottage is a stroke of genius. Sure, the archetypal Santa is a whimsical and heartwarming character, but I find it easier to resonate with this Father Christmas. He's more humanised, down-to-earth and relatable. The short shows a Santa expressing a wide range of emotions, both positive and negative, resulting in a character who's easier to connect to than a fantastical Father Christmas. It's also interesting seeing what Santa does when he's not delivering presents on the 24th of December. Any assumptions that he lays back and does whatever he wants all year are thrown out of the window when we see how much work he has to do on the other days of the year. He has to take care of the reindeers, get everything ready for the big day, and read every single letter that's sent to him. The idea of showing that Santa's job is just as difficult as anyone else's really helps to bring him down to our level and make him more relatable. The fact he can lose his temper and get fed up is also important to helping us resonate with him. We all get flustered from time to time, whether it's a minor grievance or trouble at work, so we can forgive Santa's grumpy attitude because we've all been there. Then we have Santa's many varied holiday trips, which include Scotland, France and Las Vegas. What I love about these vacations is that each one has a downside, really capturing the bad luck that some holidays unfortunately offer. There's something satisfying about seeing the disappointing reality behind over-romanticized countries. These places aren't perfect like in the films, and seeing Santa deal with this is both very funny and enlightening. Santa himself is voiced by comedian Mel Smith. I love the thick British accent Mel gives Santa. I love the way he says bloomin' this and bloomin' that, and the way he captures the grumpiness of an old man who's just fed up at this point. It's a terrific performance. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Don't know what he's bloomin' well moaning about. Life of Riley. Better bloomin' roses. Wonder what he does with the other 364 days. Well, I'll let you into a big blooming secret. My only complaint is that Santa keeps talking and talking and talking. He has a really bad case of verbal diarrhea, whether he's muttering to himself or thinking out loud. Yes, I know that he doesn't really have anyone to talk to, but listening to him ramble on and on can become grating at times. The animation for this short is just as gorgeous as the snowman's. Santa's carrot animation is entertainingly comical, the colour palette is bright and vibrant, the hand-drawn art style is charmingly detailed, and the sleigh's flight sequences are pretty damn stunning. It's a shame that they're so brief, because it's clear that a lot of work went into them. To conclude, Father Christmas is an immensely charming short, with a relatable Santa, a down-to-earth story, and beautiful hand-drawn animation. Sure, Santa suffers from verbal diarrhea, but it's still a delightful Christmas cartoon. I've been Jamboreeki, and I hope you enjoyed my review. Cheerio, folks. Mm -hmm.